Sergeant Smiley, and today we are going to be talking about the Corey Kenshin shit going on and what YouTube's been doing. So, here's my point of view. I've been wa keeping up on it and watching a little bit of it and everything else. So, when I hear, uh, it's no secret that YouTube has been favoritiz favorite favoritizing, uh, Favoriting certain content creators, basically, over the smaller or the minorities of the channel. I'm not saying they're racist or anything. They just, some people are not ad friendly, and I get that. Like, take this channel for for a thing. I'm not ad friendly. Just, I mean, fuck, look at my content, bro. Um, but, uh, no, I, I'm on Corey Kenshin's side. Uh, YouTube is a shadow ban me in ways to in this way too uh recently they fucking uh age restricted a few of my videos which is basically shadow banning and to me that's not fucking cool because these were videos that were like uh maybe four years old and they weren't even that bad so there was of course there was there's always been the useful marijuana in my videos and me getting stoned and shit. That's just part of my niche. Or my niche. But uh. But the thing is. They've had never had a problem with them in the past. And now why are they starting to crack down on them now? Like. I did. I do everything in my power to edit out any like. Of. Any, edit out any music. I don't have the technology. Currently. To be like going in, going deep dive into the fucking videos, extracting certain things. I don't have that technology, but what I do have is the power to edit music over the background, and that's what I do. And I know it's, it seems lazy, but uh, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that uh, I feel bad for Corey Kenshin right now because. YouTube's fucking over a lot of people, and trust me, if you're not one of their sugar babies to the point where you're going to be bringing in tons of views, tons of money, and shit like that, YouTube don't really care, and I know they care about their platform, but they don't give a shit enough to um, actually uh, stick up for their their creators, and that's the fucked up part, you know? Hey, we got, at least we got this whole platform, though, where we can actually put out our opinion somewhat. And when we do, yeah, we, a lot of us get blasphemy for it. But the fact is that a lot of us don't care. It's just shrugging off our shoulders. But when YouTube starts shadow banning, basically, people from, in age, basically by age restricting their videos, like, they have done to mine currently and more recently, and I've been, I haven't been aware of why they're doing it, because, of course, YouTube don't give you an answer, and talking to them is like trying to get a hold of, uh, a support team through Microsoft or something like that, but when... I don't know, I just feel bad for the dude, because that could hurt someone's channel financially, and I know the dude has good intentions, he's not a bad person, and when, I used to enjoy his content, I kind of outgrew it, you know, he's not, I don't think he's a bad YouTuber, it's just, I don't enjoy his content anymore, because I don't like the games and stuff like that that he has played and stuff, so when... This is all bring up, this is like kind of a warning sign to all YouTubers though. Not just the black community and the YouTube algorithm. Not the, not only just the whites or the Asians, you know. Anybody who uploads, it doesn't matter what race you are. But uh, it, it's going to affect us all, man. And just this is just a warning ahead of time. Beware. And just... Just keep on your grind, keep uploading, don't let this discourage you, but, uh, just, just shouting this out, just being aware of the situation at hand, and how this could affect not only Corey Kenshin, not only, um, anybody else who's been dealing with it, like me, it could affect even big YouTubers eventually, even smaller YouTubers, and shit like that, but, uh, yeah, 
just letting you guys know that. But peace out. Hope you guys enjoy the video.